All right, guys, it's TK with TK Tech News, and I told you guys uh, when I w while I will be gone, we'd have some vi respective videos that'll be going up. Uh, this is going to be during the Stanley Cup uh, finals in the event that that happens. So, um, one of the things I mentioned, and I don't, it's going to depend also on how Anissa posts these for me. Um, I, I did mention in a video before, hopefully it doesn't come after this one, but in a video before how I would show you guys how to be able to use your iPad to make phone calls. Now obviously you can see this one I have is on Verizon LTE. I was lucky. I, I currently have, I have a unlimited uh, prepaid, uh, unlimited data plan with Verizon. They came out, you could get them a while back for iPads uh, for AT&T and for uh, Verizon. So I got, so I did get this one. Um, that said, basically, you can also use a cell, just a regular cellular SIM card with your iPad as well. Uh, if you have Verizon and you have unlimited data, you can just pop this in and that'll work as well. Now, there's a couple different ways you can go about getting your text messaging. Um, and one of those ways is you can actually set up iMessage to work from your iPhone directly with this. And, and when you set up the iMessage and you remove the SIM and pop it in here, your phone number would still show up. You'll still get those iMessages from your phone number, but not via text message. So the best way to make that happen, there's two ways. You can port your number to Google Voice, and, and there's we can do a whole separate video on how Google Voice works. Uh, but there's lots of different ways that you can make your tablet, your iPad, work as a phone. So you can see I have a whole suite of apps, and I use these when I travel internationally. So uh, you can see I have stuff from eBay popping up. Um, so one of those is uh, Vonage. So I can open up Vonage. Uh, it is free. It does not cost anything. Now, you do have to set up your mobile number. It does send a text message to it, but then you can actually use your phone number from your iPad, which is kind of cool. Um, once you set that up, it is unlimited calling, I believe up to 3,000 minutes, I believe, at first for free. It may be totally unlimited now, uh, but you can make, you plug your headset in or turn your iPad around, speakers up top mic up here at the bottom and talk away and not have any issues with it um one of the other big apps and it this is a there is a monthly subscription that would give you unlimited talk text and mms using your data is text plus let me see if i can open this up and make sure i don't put any anybody's uh, information on blast okay great so you can see you can sign up let me go ahead and sign in so i can show you guys how this works and today's video is being shot in 4K. If you haven't noticed, you can see that uh, by clicking the resolution. I'm going to try to get as many of these videos in 4K as I can um, moving forward because people have just asked for it. And there's not a lot of people shooting in uh, 4K. So, all right. So here's an example. I can open up Text Plus and let me see if I can go to the dialer. Da, 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 da. If it's going to let me do that. Let's see. Hold on, guys. All right, so I got this up, and I might break this into two different parts. But basically, if I want to make a phone call, I can actually open up the dialer, and I'll use a dummy dialer so you, so you can get an example of how this works uh, as a dummy number or what, what I used as a test number. It's still been in effect all of this time it just calls it's just a test thing that we used to use for singular and it will beep but it just rings it doesn't do anything so there you can hear it pretty clear i don't have any issues that it will make phone calls um, i'm not subscribed to a subscription but if you do subscribe to a subscription as you can see here uh you can see the inter introductory offer it's like 2.99 a month for unlimited calls and texts all numbers in the u.s and canada it's pretty solid uh, if you ask me. So those are some of the quick and easy methods that you can use. Again, there is Google Voice. Um, you can use Google Hangouts. And with, with Hangouts, you can open it up and then you can call pretty much whoever you want and it will uh, work. So there is that. I would like to access the microphone. And this will use your Google Voice number if you have that as well. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Have you tried to use your iPad as a phone and what app do you currently use? And stay tuned. We're going to do a lot more with this uh, in the future. Till next time, guys. TK with TK 